Hi friends and welcome back to the Baseball Card Illustrated channel. I'm Bronco, the PSA 11, and this, well, this right here is actually football, and I'll explain why I'm showing you that in a second. But this is the Saturday Shootaround, the weekly series where we gather a stack of stuff, hit the record button, and find out together what kind of fun is going to happen. So I invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy, because the Saturday Shootaround is batting down the hatches and headed your way. Now, as for the football you're seeing here, today's a special Saturday because my team, which is not the one you're actually seeing here, um, it was opening day for us, and the Fighting Broncos, as we'll call them, were winners by a 20-6 to score, so we got the season off on a winning note, and one of my players actually told me that he's a subscriber to the channel and watches some of the videos, so Harry, if you're out there, thanks for watching and subscribing to the channel, and great job today. Nice win, a great way to start the season for the guys. And I also want to point out something very interesting. I have no idea what the reason for it was or anything, but in the morning I checked my analytics here on the channel and went and coached, and all of a sudden I noticed after the game that we have like a dozen more subscribers now than we did when this game kicked off. I have no idea what the explanation for it is, why it happened, how people found the channel, if it, you know, maybe somebody had a great glowing recommendation and a shout out or something that somebody saw and it's kind of spread or if the algorithms went in our favor or what it is but thank you to everybody that spawned the channel and um, decided to hit that subscribe button and join us as that guy was doing a jumping jack for no apparent reason um, Kevin and I and Dylan the graphics guru we definitely appreciate it and welcome you to the baseball card illustrated team anyway we're going to talk a little bit about Mystery Mondays coming up this week because we're going to have a special um, edition of one of the envelopes that I want to give you the hint on which envelope you'll want to take as a thank you for um, roughly a dozen new subscribers of the channel for whatever reason over the past couple hours. So we'll, we'll talk about that somewhere here in this video and we'll talk a little bit about the 400 subscriber giveaway we've been doing and we got a six pack of envelopes to get to. So we're going to go back to the Baseball Card Illustrated Studios and crack into those uh, envelopes and see what we've got for you this week. We're back in the Baseball Card Illustrated Studios now, and you can see right here we've got a six-pack of envelopes that we're going to crack into. And you'll also see this Miguel Sano 2017 Topps Museum Collection autograph card numbered to 75. Somewhere in this video, I'm going to let you know what envelope you're going to want to select, what team captain on Mystery Mondays, because this card is going to be a part of that prize package that you'll have a chance to win. But let's get into the mail and see what we got here. We have some, we have a TTM, we have some friend mail, and we have an eBay purchase to get through. And let me throw these up here real quick while I get to the mail, and I'll remind you that you've got until next Sunday um, of Labor Day weekend to enter our 400 subscriber giveaway in which we're giving away um, a number of these cards. We're already up to, I think, 47 likes on that video. And if we get to 50, we'll give away three prize packages. If we get to 75 likes, we'll give away four. And if we get 100 or more, we'll give away prize packages to five of you that'll contain one of these cards plus an envelope of other assorted cards to people that watch that video and enter based on the criteria in that video. We have a Shohei Otani rookie card. We have a couple different Ronald Acuna Jr. rookie cards. We got a Trevor Hoffman autograph and a Josh Hader autograph. And the other thing is, I think a couple of you make some very good points about um, you like the channel and you've been a big part of the Baseball Card Illustrated team here. And you just don't make videos. And I think we need to do something to recognize those of you that are, you know, in that situation. So when we get to 450, We'll do another giveaway, which won't be a um, viewer response video, video response. Um, everyone will just have an opportunity based on some um, thing that we come up with, let you know how you have a chance to win. So anyway, let's get to a TTM first. This one comes to us from Carol Stream, Illinois. And a little Karnak style for us there. And okay, this is exactly what I thought it was going to be. It's a... Through the mail autograph of John Paxson, the former Chicago Bull, part of the legendary teams with Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, and all those guys. We got the 1991-92 Fleer card, and behind it, a set that we're trying to collect as many cards as we can from. 
as you can see that's autographed as well it's a 1990-91 hoops card and off the top of my head i think this is something like 63 cards now signed in that set so thank you to mr paxson excited to get that for the collection and now we'll get into some friend mail and we'll start with um we'll start with uh autographs 2000 um sent this lovely hallmark card i don't know if it actually is a hallmark card but that's what the envelope says on it here and gotta figure out how to open this without destroying it and we got some fun coming up with um autographs 2000 and several others in the card community that we're going to let you know about i'm sure very shortly here and it's a very nice thank you card um I'm gonna choose not to read it just because I don't know if all this information is out there yet. And I certainly, if Scott has a great idea. I want him to be the one that gets to uh, be the first to announce it just in case it has not and I've missed it. But a, a very nice card, thank you very much. And it comes with this great Skybox John Elway card that I did not have. And that actually looks like a poster that I would have had when I was younger. So that that's a great, uh, card, I appreciate that. That'll certainly go in the Elway PC that I have. Um, perfect way to celebrate a victory here. And thank you very much. I should also mention as we get to the next uh, piece of mail here that we got football week on the channel coming up, the opening week of the NFL season. And Autographs 2000 sent me a whole bunch of cards that are going to be part of a special bottom nine, the return of the bottom nine. We haven't done it in a while during the summer because we had a different series going on that will wrap up this coming Friday. But we're going to have a little thing there about that. So hope you look forward to that. And our next envelope comes to us from good friend Braves Collector. Awesome. Uh, Bronco and Kevin, thank you again for all you do for the card community. Your channel is one of our community's greatest assets. Definitely appreciate that. I was sorting through some cards and came across a few I thought you might enjoy. You're always sending out Friend Mail Friday, so I figured I, you were due to receive one of your own. It isn't much, but I thought you guys might enjoy them. Thanks again for all you do. And this is from Braves Collector. Early congrats on 400 subscribers. Well, thank you very much. Definitely appreciate that. And we'll take a look here at, we got a Keston Hira autograph, or I should autograph, Keston Hira rookie card from Tops Holiday. Uh, that's, a, that's a set that I haven't collected a ton of, but it's a lot of fun. Um, I don't know why I haven't gotten into it, but I just haven't. Um, probably like everything else, it's impossible to find. We got NBA champion Jordan Noir there um, on his in his Bucks jersey. We got a Robin Yount All Star card that I want to say that's ninety, or I should say eighty eight. But so we'll take a look at the back here. I'm going to be wrong. I'm going to be very wrong. This is looks like nineteen eighty three. The All-Star card designs to me always look kind of similar, and I think our good friend um, Andy and uh, Doug over at Autographs, I should say at Don't Talk to Robots and Flying Dutchman Cards can uh, do a little bit better job of me critiquing card designs and stuff, but I'm going to tilt the camera down here just a little bit so you can see this better. Apologize for that. And we got this nice Corbin Burns rated rookie card. Um, who's having an outstanding season for the Brewers this year. So thank you very much to Braves Collector, and I'll let you know that on Mystery Mondays this week, you want to pick the Joey Votto team captain if you want to have a chance to win that Miguel Sano card we were talking about. So feel free to enter that, and good luck in your chances of picking up maybe the National League MVP this year, uh, a card of his along with Miguel Sano, an autograph there. Up next, we've got this piece of mail here. I'm trying to open this delicately off camera. Don't want to show any addresses or anything. So we got Poor Man Stack checking in. Hey Bronco, here are a few cards. I hope you'll enjoy. Thanks for all you, for all you do in the community. Poor Man Stack. I don't know, I'll just throw on camera there. So we'll start out with, oh, now, here's someone that clearly has also listened and watched a lot of the videos. He knows that I've been trying to put together my Jeff Cirillo piece. He has a huge fan of Jeff Cirillo when he was at the Brewers, and I've just started kind of putting together a PC of some of his cards, so that'll definitely fit in very nicely there. We got a Christian Yelich, another guy that, not surprisingly, if you watch the channel, I PC, and this Eric Davis card that I'm not overly familiar with. It says, The Stars of 88, 
and this is card number 30 of 34. Um, looks like if I can put on my uh, Don't Talk to Robots hat here, looks like he's at Shea Stadium there. Now we've got this Cal Ripken Jr. pop-up card, I think they called it. Um, and that, it looks like he's in the, the Astrodome there, doesn't it? Like, I'm a little confused by that, but I I don't have a I don't know that I actually have one of these, so maybe we'll stand that up and have Cal Ripken as an honorary uh, team captain or background or something for a future video. And then we got the, now this is an older card for sure. Eric Crabtree, a end for the Broncos, and I'm gonna guess. Boy, I'm trying to tell by the jersey number if he's a defensive end or a tight end. Let's see what we got here on the back. Um, tight end, or or actually a split end. That's right, because way back in the day, um, they were called split ends. I probably can put this card up here. The fast split end was tied for the team lead in pass receptions in 1967 and won the title last season. So this is a card from, I'm guessing, from 1969 then. He caught Denver's longest pass gainer of the year, a 72-yarder. I love the way they write on the back of these cards. As a rookie with the Broncos in 66, Eric played mostly on special teams. And you can see there on the other side of the card, their little cartoon drawing, Eric scored 13 touchdowns during his college career. So th this has got to be by far the oldest football card that I've ever had. So thank you very much to Poor Man Stack. And I, I can't say I know much about Eric Crabtree, but I'm going to have to look that up once we get off camera here and uh, so I can find out about good old EC or... He probably has some really cool nickname that I didn't even know about. Um, next, real quick, I'm saving um, a, what I think is going to be an outstanding envelope for last but certainly not least. So here's a quick eBay purchase that I made um, just because I'm trying to put together a couple more cards of this autograph set from back in the day, the Donner Signature Series. So there's a Rondell White. And now we got something here from a good friend of the channel, none other than trying to open can't walk and chew gum here at the same time so let me focus on one thing at a time <laughs> we got zach sports cards and collectibles and we've got okay great note here and all right i think we can throw that on there without any problem bronco the psa 11 i mean bronco the psa 11 and kevin the diamond king i just wanted to thank you so much for teaming up with me on the eastern conference finals contest if, by the way if you haven't seen those videos that we did here or the ones that zach did i definitely recommend you go check those out we had a lot of fun throughout the course of that we're hoping that the brewers and braves meet in the baseball playoffs here and can do a series of things between those two teams as well i'm a huge fan of your channel it was honored to team up that you would team up with me. I had such a fun time, and congratulations to the Milwaukee Bucks on the NBA championship. I've included some cards, but in no way compares to the amount of awesomeness you sent me. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. I've also included some cards for Kevin from his childhood and my star and my favorite stars of the 80s and early 90s, Braves, his original hometown team. If you don't know, Kevin is actually from the Atlanta area and is a big Braves fan in addition to Brewers. He also likes the A's. So let's see what we got here from Zach, who's had a lot of success finding NBA uh, cards, prism cards, over the last couple weeks on his channel. Um, is there my delicate little hands here? They're not exactly dainty little mitts I got here. There we go, finally got everything out of here. So we got the Kevin package, the Bronco package, and then the Bucks package. Uh, we'll, we'll go baseball first, and I'll open mine, and we'll do Kevin's baseball cards. Oh, I got baseball and football, okay. So we'll start out with this Eric Davis Mini, and I can see that there's a card behind that, and I think I know what that one actually is. So this is the 1987 wood grain design for tops, and I'm pretty pretty much new to the Eric Davis collection, just a guy that one of the things that's been fun about this channel is just finding guys that maybe I didn't know or remember a whole lot about from when I was younger, and he's certainly one of them, and he was a very, very good player, probably underappreciated, um, and was just a 30-30 machine early on in his career. And you can't talk Baseball Card Illustrated without some Rob Deere because we have the Rob Deere Starting Lineup World Tour. And he's actually back out on the road now, I'm happy to announce. We've got a Robin Young card from 1990, let's see here, three? They make these so hard to read. 
92, 92 upper deck. Uh, so this would be the year Robin Yell would get his 3,000th hit on September, I believe it was 10th, 9th or 10th of 92 against Jose Mesa, the Cleveland Indians. We got a John Elway card from Pro Set. Those are that's a that's a sharp looking card. Uh, and then now that I remember collecting Pro Set, and this was the first edition of Pro Set back in the day. And I don't think I ever had this Tony Dorr set card. I almost wonder if this is like an extended edition. Um, let's see what card number we got here. Four fifty three. No, this is this, this actually is sec second full year with the Broncos. So I don't think I ever had that Tony Dorr set uh, card. Not definitely not a rookie card, but that Tony Dorr set card. And then the professor, Greg Maddox, on this leaf card from his days with the Chicago Cubs. So that's a nice variety and assortment. Thank you very much, Zach. Appreciate that. And certainly have a place for each of these in my collection. Now we'll take a look at what you sent for Kevin. We'll move those off camera. And we got here Kevin the Diamond King. And I know he's going to like, he's going to love this stuff. Um, but we we're hoping to uh, actually film this together this afternoon after football, but it just didn't quite work out. Um, but we got Ken Oberkfell. Definitely, I know he remembers him. Certainly, Tom Glavin. And we got a Dave Justice that looks like it's about two years into his career. Okay, I cheated and looked at the back. Ah, Nuxy, he loved Phil Necro. That's a card that I know he's definitely going to enjoy. And he's certainly going to enjoy this one, Dale Murphy, a 1982 Donruss card. That's some great stuff. Um, so on behalf of Kevin, I'll say thank you for that. And I'll be seeing Kevin on Sunday, if not sooner. And we'll have, I should say, a week from tomorrow. Not tomorrow, a week from tomorrow. I'll make sure that he gets those. And maybe I'll have a chance to see him this week. Um, there's a couple videos that I want to put together here for all of you guys, and we'll see what time allows for it. And then we got the basketball edition. I'm assuming these are going to be Milwaukee Bucks cards. So we got Brooke Lopez on this top, uh, top scrum, hoops chrome. Just trying to see if they had like a special designation on them, or you just have to figure out that they're chrome, but obviously that one's a chrome. We got two cards in here. I'm going to pull them apart because one's a, is this a sticker or it must be a sticker. We got Chris Cash Money Middleton, who's falling down there. And that's from his team Giannis days on the all-star team. And then you talk about a guy that a fan base has absolutely fallen in love with. Bobby Portis. Bucks fans absolutely adore this guy and with good reason. All his plays with a ton of energy. And he, he brought it from day one, and he's decided to resign here for less than he could have made playing somewhere else. And just, you know, I think most fan bases have, like, a guy that they just truly love and appreciate, and Bobby Portis is it. Um, we showed a couple of videos with the Bobby, Bobby, Bobby chant throughout the course of the playoffs. And, of course, you can't talk about the Bucks right now without the MVP two times over, and then your current finals MVP, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And then, boy, here, what year are these? Wow, these are some 1997-98 Fleer cards. And we got Terry Cummings, who was a guy that I definitely liked when I was a younger, a younger little Bronc. And this was probably my first favorite basketball player, Sidney Moncrief. And... I know for a fact I never had that card. I'm not even sure I've seen that card, uh, to be perfectly honest. So thank you very much for that. And then we've got... I, I know this has got to be some kind of parallel. I apologize for not knowing exactly what we got here. But Drew Holiday. And maybe I should actually put it like this so it kind of looks like Drew is making the alley-oop pass to Giannis there for the alley-oop in Game 5 of the NBA Finals. Okay, it looks nothing like that, but if you watch the finals, you know what I'm getting at there. So thank you very much, Zach. That is some awesome stuff, and I'd like to thank everybody that has sent some stuff in. We're going to have another mail day during the week this week, actually, because we got a contest going on with Tony Black that we're going to open um, some mail he sent, and we got a couple other things that I didn't want this video to get way too long, even though we're already there. So we're going to save a couple things for a different video during the week. We'll be back with Mystery Monday, so have a good rest of your weekend. Thanks for watching. Again, those of you that have subscribed to the channel over the last couple days, thank you very much. Don't exactly know what spurred that, but we're very happy to have you on the team. And on behalf of Kevin the Diamond King, Dylan, our graphics guru, 
And the awesomeness that is the baseball card illustrated team I used to call maniacs. Maybe we'll stick with that. Maybe we won't. But all of you, thank you very much. We appreciate it. I'm Bronco, the PSA 11. So long, everybody. You've been watching the Baseball Card Illustrated channel.